Hey, what's going on guys? Today's Interrogant Spotlight is Selena. She was voted number one in the polls by many of you guys. In this series, I briefly go over the unit's base set, then to some builds. I only have two builds for her, and let's just jump right in. Selena is another one of those underrated heroes. She's extremely tanky in both departments, 32 defense and 28 resistance. Not only that, she comes with 35 speed and can go up to 38 with a positive IV, which means she won't be getting doubled by many heroes unless they have Sword Breaker or something. Her main downside is her really low base attack, which is at a measly 25. She is tied with many other heroes for the fifth lowest base attack in the game. That being said, she needs to really rely on specials for damage output or build her to counter one specific color, which in this case would be green. Her base skills are extremely good. She comes with very useful skills like reposition, threat and speed, and triangle of death. Her weapon is the only thing that isn't that useful. Here's her budget set. Use her as a dedicated green counter. She can do pretty well versus red sword units as well. IVs can be positive speed, attack, or defense with negative resistance. Positive speed is important to allow her to double fast popular sword units with Fury after using Threatened Speed. It's recommended to swap Armor Slayer with a better weapon, but that's going to be the last priority. Armor Slayer increases her damage versus armored units, so she'll be your go-to hero if you need someone to counter Hector. Base defense of 32 means the obvious choice for the special will be Bonfire or Ignis. She can get away with using 4 charge cooldowns like Ignis because she is used kind of like a wall, sort of like Tsubaki. She doesn't take a lot of damage from the opposite a weapon triangle and outputs very little damage. My suggestion would be to run Bonfire with Armor Slayer and Ignis with Killing Edge just because the activation timing for 3 charge cooldowns just plays out a lot better for her. B slot is where it becomes debatable. Swordbreaker is a great option for plus attack Selena's just because she has 35 speed and threatened speed won't help her double units like Fury, Ryoma, and Lucina. For plus speed Selena's there's not that many options for this specific build. I think the best options are Renewal, Escape Route, and maybe some of the seal skills. Renewal is nice for that self sustain and it can be carried over to her better skill set that I'll go over in just a few seconds. Two 4 stars at minimum and the total cost is 1080 SP. So in my opinion I think this is probably her best skill set. Give her Woe Dao Plus, Fury, Renewal, and Moombo. Best IVs to go with this set are Positive Attack with Negative Resistance. Like I said in the beginning, low attack heroes are usually dependent on their specials to increase their damage output and the Woe Dao Moombo combo suits Selena really well. The strategy is to just bait or initiate on an enemy that she can double, set up for threatened speed beforehand if you need to, and Selena should activate Wodao's effect and Moombo on the second hit. Her results with this build are 60 wins and 0 losses, with the threatened speed debuff it increases to 90 wins and 0 losses. Almost every green unit will get 1 round KO'd and a lot of red heroes as well. The enemies that you will need to watch out for are Effie and brave users like Abel, Cordelia, and Reinhardt. This set is going to require either Athena or Carol for that Wodao Plus. 1 5 star and 3 4 stars, total SP is 2505. That's all the builds I've got for Selena. I know some of you guys are going to ask whether or not a Brave Sword build is viable. I'm just going to say that there's tons of heroes better suited for that. Selena is a low damage output tank, so giving her Brave Sword plus with life and death isn't the best way to utilize her stats. Do you guys also agree that Selena is very underrated? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.